Okay, we're back. We're going to do um, uh, some intermediate soloing over a Merle Haggard song called Mama Tried. And I'll show you the, the, the intro to this song now, and then we'll, we'll play through it. And then I'll explain a little bit of what I'm doing uh, playing through this song. So we're going to start in D. And we're going to incorporate the B minor chord in this song uh, also, which is just like your B bar chord here. But you're going to bar... Uh, you're gonna you're gonna hit your first finger on the second uh, fret A string, uh, little finger and little finger and, and and ring finger on the G and and D string on the fourth fret, and then we're gonna move this uh, D sharp note is gonna be a D natural now, so we're playing this B minor. So we're gonna incorporate that that chord into this song too. So. Uh, the, the way the, 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 the intro is on this song, which is pretty famous, um, it starts out of this D triad right here. And it's... So there's a little bit of a cross-picking pattern with your right hand. The pick is going... So it's down, down, up, up, down. So. Okay, so that you're going to bar these three, and then you're going to hit this uh, A note, which is out of this A shape chord, with your little finger, and then you're going to go. Uh, so. And there's going to be a little pull off with that middle finger on this, right? Uh, this G note going to the G, um, the F sharp right here. So, so slow. That's so that's the opening riff of that, and then. What, it, what happens next is it goes Oh, let's see And then it goes So that's bending up uh, on the out of this out of this D bar chord and we're ending on the flat seven, which is a C note. So that's, and then the same thing, an octave down, and then we're into the song. So that's the that's how the intro goes. And um, we're gonna play now, and then we'll we'll go over a little bit of stuff afterwards. So that's Mama Tried uh, by Merle Haggard. And um, I just wanted to show you how we're getting into soloing over those uh, chord changes. And uh, even when we went, we went to the sixth minor, 
we're staying in the in the same uh, realm of, of D with this uh, pentatonic kind of shape here. So when we get to the when we get to the sixth minor, that's the relative minor of, of D. So we're able to play in the same um, pentatonic shape right here as we are in the in the whole song. We're playing out of this D pentatonic shape. And we're mixing the major sound with the more bluesy uh, sound uh, in this song as well. We're kind of going back and forth a little bit. But um, with that being said, when you play over this minor chord, so here's your, here's your D, and there's the B minor. So they're very, you can, you can tell they're, it's really, you don't even have to move this triad to get that, that minor chord. So the same scale works for, works for both. So when that song goes, uh, uh, you know, you're playing over this, well, you can still play. It's, it works right out of that same position. So you don't even have to really change what you're playing um, uh, so drastically to play over that minor chord. So that's something that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. 